Hello, everybody. This is Nilima Pariskar, and I'm here to talk about a unique model that probably is applicable for your businesses um, and a thought process about how you can motivate to bring in more talent into your industry or your particular company. Um, it gives me much pleasure to talk about Snap IT Sprint model. The way we see it is this model has helped employees win, employers win, and the economy win. Um, let me go ahead and start off and give you the idea on where this all started. When about five to six years back, when I was volunteering at a STEM activity and um, at a big conferences um, where hundreds of the students were brought in from underserved community. One question resonated me to me more than anything else. At the end of the long day of mentoring these young kids who were in high school, few of them shared that I don't know how to get into tech industry. Neither do I have people surrounding me that has knowledge to get into tech industry. That really shocked me because I probably was living in a bubble for about good a decade when I realized that not every kid out there, every, every um, graduate from high school out there has the same opportunities that our children have been going, going through. And then I started saying, what can I do to help? Probably a drop in an ocean, but I want to start somewhere. That's when the journey started to understand the actual problem behind what I discovered. So then I saw challenges. A few of the challenges that I can mention here are, according to Labor Bureau of Statistics, we are constantly increasing the number of jobs that need tech in tech that need computer sciences. Um, the recent st uh, stats show at least 20, 22% increase. That's probably before COVID. And after COVID, that's only going to rise even higher. Colleges currently produce about 80,000 computer sciences graduates in the United States. But we have 500,000 jobs left unfilled each year. And that's also probably going to increase aggressively with the dependency of technology that we are all having. In 2018, shockingly, only 56% of high school graduates immediately went for a four-year institute. Out of that 56 percentile, probably even lesser for computer sciences. The tech industry still demands four-year computer sciences degree or equivalent experience. If you don't have an opportunity, where will you get experience? So these are the things that these are the challenges, the problems, the obstacles that I had to consider putting, putting a model in place um, to try to get through the challenges or the obstacles that we'll face in this model. Immediately, I put a couple things together. There is definitely shortage of technology professionals out there. We, every industry, and I come from the industry, I've been in the industry for 20 years, being a software engineer. The industry has shortage of technical professionals and the demand and the expense we are spending to hire those engineers is only going up year after year. Even with increased dollar amounts that we spend for the uh, hiring process, there is still a huge chance that some other company can come and whisk them away. And then I discovered untapped diverse talent through my mentoring and getting into that community once I got to know that there are thousands, about 30,000 families just in one city that do not have access to basic needs or basic internet or technology um, education needs. Now I see tenured te technology mentors who have understood the vision of this particular model. Keep putting all these together, that's where Snap IT Sprint lives and want to live. 
Now let's see what exactly this model looks like. It may be a model that can be defined as three strong areas, the three defined independent areas of the business coming together with one purpose to grow more IT talent from underserved and underrepresented communities. Yes, there is a segment of college graduates that are coming into the country wanting jobs, but there is a huge population, huge uh, um, unfilled jobs. About 75% of the demand is not filled. First, we take Snap IT Sprint model with the first step that's called trainings. Snap IT trainings hit the high tech training. These are high tech trainings that hit in demand skills that are exponentially growing to meet the market needs. These are critical skills that are needed by our clients. They would they would require experience or four year degree college. But what Snap ID did is we created trainings for mainly targeting adults and young adults with no experience in technology, in IT, to take these trainings to understand the basics of computer sciences or development experience. These trainings are given as in partnership with workforce de development agencies. I'm gonna explain more in detail later. And then the next phase that comes to uh, into this process is SALTS process. SnapRTE SALTS is a process where the trained individuals go through a, an uh, additional months of either internships or apprenticeships to hone their skills into, into real projects, real projects that have clients on them, but with less critical uh, deadlines. And then we move this talent slowly into pods. In pods, we identify and we group these skills with people. About five is our sweet spot. Having one senior software engineer and architect combined with an experienced resource, of course, maybe probably coming from Snap ID trainings, but not as many years of experience or industry recognized credentials. And then we connect with our junior hires that came through the Snap ID trainings and SALTS process. As a team, as a pod, they take on projects, they deliver projects for clients, and Snap ID gets paid when they get the work done, or they go through that uh, period of time frame. So with this, year after year, Snap ID has gained 100% growth in a most challenging tech industry, the technology resources are at highest in demand. And 100% of this talent is on show here in the United States. Let's look at a few more in-depth success rates for these processes and different phases of the process. In trainings, yes, we have identified trainings as the critical juncture for uh, training the individuals. But this, because we are certified by ETPL, we are able to provide these trainings accordingly. That is the critical reason why the students do not pay any money for the, for the trainings that they go through. So it's no cost to student. The next is the solve space that I talked about. We have a lot of products that we are internally building that the student is able to work on and gain experience. The third phase is the pods. Then we put all the people together in, in agile teams and deploy the client. With this, I want to share a few, a, a quick case study. Our HR IT company, um, IT uh, healthcare company approached us with the need for demand. And in the process, found as a great partner because we could scale exponentially. Started with one pod, no less than two years later, we are seven pods with them at this point. 
This is the stats for Snap ID Sprint model. 57% female in the company, minority close to 60%, 60, 65, LGBTQ, disabled veterans, English as the second language. We have percentages off the chart representing the community that we belong. The graduation rate is 97% from our uh, trainings and placement rate is about 80%. The win for the ecosystem, it's a win for employees or students that without any cost for them, they're able to go through these trainings, get device and books, and able to get third-party certifications. For employers, you're able to get this talent for so much less um, uh, dollars or financial investment from your end. For the economy, we're making jobs here onshore with, with the resources that are ha have seen um, traditional challenges and roadblocks to get into the space. With that said, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you taking the time to look at Snap IT Sprint. Hopefully you can implement something similar or contact us for our um, partnership. Thank you.